Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HVAC. In this video, what we're going to do is to check how we can start with the language called Structured Text ST that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So basically, the Structured Text is a textual uh, language that we have. So it's similar to Pascal or C++. The only thing that probably we need to check is the syntax of the functions or how we define the variables or how we work with the variables. Okay, that's something that you will probably need to get used to it. So if you pay attention here, you can see here that we have assignation. Uh, so I move this value to here, but before moving in, I add one to this value and each end of this kind of syntax, I need to use the semicolon. Um, here we have also another function that we're going to use function but syntax about the if okay so we can like a selection of um of operation that we want to do so if something happened then do something else uh then do this otherwise do this so we're gonna be in details about this part okay but i just want to take a look here on this how it looks like so if we have different functions we have different colors um this is the assignation this is the comparison as you can see is different to this one okay uh it's important to define this at the end of the syntax that we have in order to not get any errors but we are going to cover that later so basically um what it says in there so the structure test the xt that we have in the software is based on expressions so i have expressions and then i can in this expression i have the possibility to make some mathematical operations as i showed you before using the operators and operands so this is the operator and this is the operand and we have different things here okay so uh, the operand can be a constant so as you can see here is number one the constant Okay, in this case, number one, or it can be a variable, as I'm using here. Uh, two, 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 or it can be a function called. So, in this case, I didn't show you that part, but I can call, for example, a variable to um, the right and a specific variable inside the PLC that we're going to solve before writing the EEPROM variables. That's a function. We can call that. Uh, there are a few rules over here. So the statement must be determined in semicolons, which is this icon over here. Um, doo -doo -doo. Well, this is something important. If you use instruction um, instruction list similar to pick, okay, uh, this is important. So we can continue writing on the same line. And, doo -doo -doo. and here is the maximum length that we can use, okay. Um, once you play a lot with this, you're going to have it inside um, this kind of rules. Um, you will not forget. But this one is important. Or in case you forget, then you're going to know what's going on. So uh, there are a few functions or things that we need to take a look. So the first one is the move. So basically, if you want to move one value to another one, okay, we just need to put the value that we want to store the value so i'm going to move from b the value from b to a to the variable a so this can be in this case is um variable or it can be a constant for example number one move to a with a smart okay so it's just an idea you can also have formula as i'll show you in the first part this is like a formula i have the variable a another the same variable a or it can be b and then uh, subtract number one so it's similar to them this is just the syntax for us to understand um this is how we can use a function okay this kind of function uh, the sinusoidal function okay have this variable coming in the x and i receive the y value and then we have also um in this case, 
okay so this is going to see that later so basically if we create a function called in this case my fc uh, the functions give us only one value that we have already defined in there so if you define the function called m my fc we can use that inside the function code okay mc and then we can work it a formula or something okay that is what it means if we go to this part now the function how we can use this function okay so i call my function fc i use the arguments okay the parameters are going to be inside this function and then i'm going to receive the value my fc over here and here you can see the assignation the move then if i have instead of a function block a fc i have a fb um, then you can see that i have different arguments okay it's gonna be over here and then in order to use the output i can use this symbol the syntax or i can use the dot as i'm going over here okay you can see this is coming into the block and this is coming out to the block okay and i have this assignation so i know it can be confused if you never know it and just saw this so let's go to some examples so um in this case i have this function block uh fc so let's go to the software and see this so let's start by creating a pou as a structured text so right click over there new program define the name my pou assign to the task that you want then over here i have on the library trees in this case let's do targets target blocks do something like this is going to be function so sys right par int As you can see here it changed the color because it's, this is a function it's not um, a variable so we change the color um, as soon as i use the parentheses and when i use the parentheses you can see in there uh, the description of the variables that i need to use in here so i need a um, unsigned double int address so in this case i know that for this i need to use the adr adr the variable okay it changed the um the color okay and if i press the comma i can see the next argument that i need to use in this function okay and you can see here is an integer value so i can use a integer value here variable i haven't created this so this is how you can use the functions okay you can see it's easy this part and this particular case uh this variable or this function just uh, scroll down a little bit here right click option properties uh you can see that the return value is a boolean so if i want this to be returned let's just out we can drag and drop over here into the text colon and equal and we can see that i am assigned this value the return value that i have for these function blocks to uh, to this function to the variable boolean so this is what i meant so just you can type it okay or you just drag and drop from the library and then you can have the the value the function that you want to use now if we go to function blocks the one that needs an instance this is going to be a little bit different so let me just show you in the presentation i believe i talk about this uh, instance okay so for the fb what we need to do instead of drag and drop the 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 name of the function that we want to use we need to create an instance first so uh, let me just show you that so let's see who are function blocks so if we go to timers for example 
Dion. I can drag it over here. It created Dion, but this is not right. Okay. What we need to do is to drag it, for example, into the local variables or create a variable instance variable of that function block. So as you can see here, you can see the type is Dion, which is good. So here we just the instance Dion, for example. And instead of dragging the Tion over here, we need to use this variable. So as soon as we use the parentheses, we can see the elements, inputs and outputs. So you have arrows going to the right direction. Okay, it means that I have the function block and then they are coming to the um, to the block. So they are input variables. And if you have the uh, arrow, um, double check if you have the arrow coming out no explain it a different way if you have the arrow coming in okay it goes it's, it's the other way around um but i understood it so I shall show you much better so this arrow means that it's coming out okay this et is the current timer so it's going out of the of the function block okay and the other one is coming into the function block okay As you can see here in is coming into the function block and the other one is coming out of the function block so that will give you the idea how is the syntax for the argument that we need to use okay so in this case i'm going to start with in so as i said input is something that i need to assign so column equal now if i want to retrieve for example the output i need to use in this case i know which is the structure for the inputs and outputs i need to use this one the q and here i need to use equal and this symbol so it's going out okay that is the idea of this and then you just press comma and then you can keep seeing the next arguments okay so um this is this is good okay we have for example all the software that as soon as you put the um what's it called uh, the instance in there you can complete the you can complete the complete uh what's it called the complete syntax with the inputs and output but here not we need to do it manually um this is one way what I usually do, so it doesn't take too much space, is to only use the inputs. Okay, for example, these two, which is the input for the DN and the preset value. And then in order to retrieve the actual value, for example, let's use the same as before, equal instance Dion dot. So we can access to some parameters. Okay, you can see the arrows trying to go out from the block are the outputs and the arrows arrows coming into the block okay they're pointing to inside are the ones that are the inputs for the block and this i can use it for example in this way okay so this is how you can work with the function blocks okay my suggestion for you is to get practice um, if you are working too much for the fpd or rather than just play some time till you get used to it um let's go back to the so create this one we have done drag and drop the variables this is amazing when you just drag and drop things okay show assignments yeah i've done that show functions fc information yeah, already done this part, show FB and any information. So the idea of this is just to show you uh, how you can work with this. Okay. Um, do you have further information about the ST text editor here? You can change the text and you can change the background colors and everything. Okay, select and then make the modifications. Um, you have this part of how I function calls, but uh, that's it. There's no more things that I can um, 
modify here. The important thing here is for you to understand how to use the functions in here and how to work with some of the assignation and the syntax. Okay, this is practice. You're not going to get it just on the first try. You just need to play with it. Okay, so this is just uh, getting started for the uh, structure test that we have in the um, in the Ecostructure Machine X for HVAC. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one. Thank you.